most surprising thing is the status quo is fighting back. Yep. So oh, the big, really? yeah, the big plastic bag industry has a lobby group. They have a PR oh. firm. They have front groups. Yep. And I got sued by them. What? Mm-hmm. Why? So uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. No, say yeah. it and so. So back in 2011, you know, on my website, I was talking about plastic. How yeah. plastic never goes away. Yeah. That once it's created, every piece of plastic still on the earth. Yeah. Um, there's plastic in the ocean. Okay. Yeah, you've heard the, the quote. Yeah. You the know, there's seas, plastic yeah. twice the size yeah. of Texas. Right. So they said that being on my website was false and misleading, irreparably harming the bus their wow, business. Wow. And and they they said I'm implying there's plastic bags in the ocean. There and are plastic said, bags in the ocean. Well, they said it's not true. You know, so I went out to the ocean and saw for myself. Oh my gosh. Um, to figure out, do I want to fight or do right. I want to cave? Right. And so this is one of those moments in my life where they could take everything, you know, and just ruin yeah. me. Yeah. Um, or do I fight? Yeah. You know, so I decided to fight. Yeah. So I went. I went to the to the gyre. I saw. You know, I saw plastic bags, and and I decided I can't give up. And what ended up mm. happening is we had a successful conclusion to the lawsuit. Oh, that's great! Congratulations! Yeah. yeah. And, wow. And they agreed. They agreed to put a warning message on their bag to oh, prevent. Look at you! Yeah, to making changes. Yeah. Look at you. That's to prevent amazing. to prevent the bags from blowing out of the landfill, for example. Right. If you just tie a bag in a knot before you throw it away, it has a less oh. ability to blow and get caught in trees oh, or that's caught in fences. Yeah. And they agreed to put that on their bags.